All right, so here we're given the equation of two lines. I've got uh, three examples I'm going to work. We've got the equation of two lines in the first example, and they want to know if they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. All right, so to determine if they're parallel per or perpendicular, and if they're not one of those, then they're neither, we have to know the slope of the line. Okay. So if two lines are parallel, that means their slopes are the same. If two lines are perpendicular, their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. In other words, if one line has a slope of two-thirds, then negative three-halves would be the slope of the line perpendicular. Or if it was a slope of negative five, then one-fifth would be the slope of the line that's perpendicular. Their slopes are negative reciprocals if they're perpendicular. And if the slopes are not negative reciprocals of each other or they're not the same, then they're neither. All right, now we need to know, well, how do we find the slope? Okay, well, hopefully you remember y equals mx plus b, slope-intercept form. So if you take the equation of the line and you solve it for y, then we get we get it a linear equation in this form, and the number in front of x is your slope. Okay? So let's look at this example. So first thing we need to find the slope of these two lines. So I need to solve each line for y. Alright, so let's do that. So I get so here I'm going to subtract 6x to both sides. And so I get negative 4y equals negative 6x plus 5. And then I'm going to divide everything by negative 4. And so I get y equals a negative over a negative is positive, And 6 over 4 reduces to 3 halves. And then minus 5 fourths. Now let's take this one. Well, here, let's do it in a different color. Let's subtract 3x to both sides. So that's going to give me negative 2y equals negative 3x minus 9. And then I'm going to subtract, uh, divide each term by negative 2. And so I get y equals 3 halves x plus nine halves. All right. So the slope of this line is three halves and the slope of this line is three halves. So they're the same. So that means these lines are parallel. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the next example. All right, so let's solve this for y. So I'm going to subtract 4x to both sides. And so I get 3y equals negative 4x plus 1. And then I'll divide each term by 3. And so I get y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 1 third. Okay, all right, so now let's solve the other equation for y. So I'm going to subtract 2x to both sides, and so I get negative y equals negative 2x plus 3. Okay. And then I'm going to divide everything by negative 1, and so I get y equals 2x minus 3. Okay. Alright, so let's look. The slope of this line, well, that's negative 4 thirds. The slope of this line is 2. Okay. Well, the slopes are not the same, so they're not parallel. And they're not negative reciprocals of each other, so they're not perpendicular. 
So these are neither. Okay. All right. So now let's look at our last example. You can probably guess these are going to be perpendicular, but let's see how we get it. All right. So let's solve this one for y. So I'm going to subtract x to both sides. So I get 7y equals negative x plus 12. And then I'll divide both sides, or divide each term by 7. So that's going to give me y equals negative 1 7 x plus 12 over 7. All right, now this one, well, let's subtract 7x to both sides. And so that's going to give me negative y equals negative 7x plus 44. And then I'm going to divide everything by negative 1. And so I get y equals 7x minus 44. Okay. So the slope of this line is equal to negative 1 7. The slope of this line is equal to 7. Well, these are negative reciprocals because if I flip the 1 7, or, or if I flip the negative 1 over 7, that gives me negative 7, then change the sign as 7. So they're negative reciprocals of each other. So that means these lines are perpendicular. All right, so I hope that video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.